evening, this is Mai Chi from the Mekong River Commission. Welcome back to the Mekong Flood and Drought Forecast Channel. Overall, there is expected to be heavy rainfall in certain areas of the lower Mekong Basin. The risk of flooding remains low throughout the week. Let's start with the rainfall update. The total rainfall in the lower Mekong Basin over the past 24 hours was from light to heavy, ranging from 5 to 70 millimeters. In the next seven days, the southern part of Laos PDR and the Sekong, Sesan and Seprok rivers and the eastern and southwest part of Cambodia are expected to experience moderate to heavy rain, with a total expected rainfall of 200 to 300 millimeters. The remaining areas of the lower Mekong River Basin are expected to have light rainfall. Moving on to the update on flood situation in the Mekong River. Today, the water levels at all stations along the river are currently within the normal range in the beginning of the rainy season. Over the next five days, there are no significant changes of water level. Water levels of all stations in the mainstream are expected to increase, except for the two stations of Hongqiam and Kokelbasat. The water level at all stations remains normal and the flood risk is low. Starting with Laos, the highest water level is forecasted at Chakhek Station, at which a total water increase of 0.6 meters is expected in the next five days. The water level is still 7 meters away from the alarm level. In Thailand, Nakhon Panom Station is expected to experience the highest increase in water level by 0.6 meters on Saturday, the 29th of July. However, it is still 7 meters away from the alarm level. As for Vietnam, in the next five days, the water levels are forecasted to increase about 0.3 to 0.4 meters in Tân Châu and Cho Dok, respectively. For Cambodia, in the next five days, the water levels in all stations are forecasted to slightly increase, except the Kokel Basak station, which will be slightly decreased. In the Donlin Sap, according to the MRC's data analysis, due to less and delayed rainfall this year, the reverse flow volume into the river has been strikingly low, which may contribute into reduction of the river's outflow to the Mekong Delta during the early dry season. The orange line shows accumulated reverse flow of the Tonle Sap for this year, which is currently significantly lower than the average of the shown by the black line and the acceptable range illustrated by the light blue colors. This reduction in reverse flow volumes is considered of great concern as it has implications for ecosystems, fisheries, agriculture, and livelihoods in the Tonle Sap and Mekong Delta region. The information provided here is meant for easy communication to the public. For more technical details, please check out our website and reports. This concludes our forecast today. Remember to tune in every Monday to get the latest update on the rainfall, water level, floods, and droughts of the Mekong River. Goodbye for now.